no fucking shit. What are you doing? The neighbors are gonna see this. You're always at that fucking golf course. You know I've got a competition coming up. Look, can we talk about this inside? That's it, walk away like you always do. Hey, you, listen, can you give me a ride? My wife's gone crazy, I'll throw some dollars your way. All right, man, I gotta find some wheels first, dog. Okay, I'll wait here and take a good long look at my life, strewn all over the front yard. Thanks, man. Just let me Would grab my favorite iron. She's not getting that. <laughs> what a mess. A really great wardrobe out for all to see. Whatever. I can't deal with it right now. Can you drop me off at the golf club in Richmond? At least I know I'll be welcome there. You just gonna leave your shit all over the driveway? Yeah, I'm not giving her the satisfaction of cleaning that up. I'll go to the club, get a few drinks in me, and hope either her meds have kicked in or the gin is worn off by the time I get back. I appreciate you doing this, by the way. I, I know it's kind of a weird one. What's your name? Franklin, man. Come on! Good to meet you. I'm Castro. Oh, okay. What is that? It, um, Italian? Spanish? Pure wasp, I'm afraid. My sister's called Muffy, so I think I got off lightly. What was that all about? Ah, just the usual psycho female stuff. She thinks I've got another woman on the side. And? Do you? That's not the point. She doesn't know that I have one. Okay, guy to guy now. I have a very strict code. Only on out-of-town trips, no real names, a dead trail. That's a gentleman's way, right? Maybe in the last century it was. Yeah. I'm good like that. I don't want to embarrass her. Then she goes and literally airs our dirty laundry in front of... If you just drop me off at the entrance here, that'd be great. Thanks again. Hey, we should play golf sometime. Come by the club. I'm here most days.
Submarine we talked about. You gotta help me store it for a few days. Floyd, don't go quiet on me or I'll come around and, and I'll, well, we both know what I'm talking about. Okay, um, all right. The, the bring it around to Pier 400 at the Western Docks. On my way. Look, uh, I'll have a truck to bring you around the warehouse. What's this? The Union man doing an honest day's work? There's nothing honest about this, sir. But this is a dishonest day's work, if ever I've seen one. Hey, we're not hurting anyone. No, but no one except whoever owns that submarine and the, and the mercenary folks on the freighter. Do some research on Meriwether Security Consulting, friend. They'd be on trial for human rights offenses if the U.S. government didn't protect all its contractors from any kind of suit, military or civilian. They're immune from prosecution, and they behave like they are. Murdering, stealing, high on power guns and anabolic steroids. <sighs> Lucky bastards. Look, I don't know about that stuff. Oh, you're right. You don't. Meriwether are employed by the richest, greediest scum on the planet to shit on the poorest and the neediest. So we are going to enjoy shitting on them. Oh, great. Well, look forward to that. Okay. Well, that's more like it.
Floyd, you there? Uh, yes, sir. I'm on the crane. The surface, and I'll bring you shoreside. All right. Here. Oh, it's around the corner, past the shipyards. Is that sub covered properly? It'll be fine if we just get there. Are you being short with me? No, 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 sir. I, I'm certainly not being short. I'm just not used to this kind of pressure. If you turn a crew onto a score, you gotta be ready for the heat that comes with it. I didn't turn anyone on to anything. You threatened and cajoled and tricked me. You don't want to cut? Just walk away. I can't walk away. You're robbing my workplace and running the show from my home. Deborah's home. No cut for you, no cut for Deborah. You can park it there. You're sure it'll be okay there? Um, sure. All right. If you're wrong, I'll eat your sweet meats. Now get out of here. <laughs> 